I'm freshly laundered, and I'm going to try and get through this quickly, for once. So let's just get started. Most of these pins came from trading. If I can remember, I'll tell you what I traded for them. It was mostly Facebook. So this first package, I traded the Haunted Mansion Cuckoo Clock from January, or it might have released in February. It was supposed to be the first in the series, and I traded it for this Pride set, five pin set, limited release, and this stained glass goofy pin that originally came on a gift card or on a on a card with a gift card if you spent a hundred dollars or you loaded a hundred dollars onto the gift card. Supposedly that's not how most people got them. Um, and you can find those for sale sometimes with the gift card attached. The gift card does not necessarily have a hundred dollars on it, so don't get don't get duped. This is my weekly order from Dream499. She does park pickups and also has um, really fun Instagram live sales. So I got the Alice in Wonderland Magic in the Stars pin, and I also got these two uh, Goofy pins. Are we sensing a theme here? That's three Goofy pins. Um, my boyfriend's mom likes Goofy, and I have a problem with impulse control. The third package... The, the, so this package, I traded a box pin set. It's a set of three pins from the 2002 Star Spangled Pin event. I traded them for two Epcot pins I'm pretty excited about. And the person I traded with um, <coughs> is more active in our local pin trading scene, which I didn't know existed because we live nowhere near any Disney park. But um, I was able to connect with them and uh, learn about some upcoming events and stuff, so I'm pretty excited about those. Traded um, that Star Spangled uh, 2002 pin set for um, this limited edition Figment Epcot pin. I collect Epcot pins, which often translates into having a fair number of Figment pins. The second one is also an Epcot pin. It's from the 30th anniversary, and it was an, um, an annual pass holder exclusive pin. It's got Mickey and Minnie, kind of like a gym, or like a, you know, a faux diamond type type deal. Uh, I really, really like these two. I'm very happy with that trade. And the last, I know, it was over so quick, right? I, I guess I shouldn't count my chickens before they hatch. This is also an order from Dream499 on Instagram. So, okay, this is the only part where I'm going to be long-winded, maybe. I don't like pops. I really don't like pops. Collecting aside, I think the only reason they got so popular so quickly is because they made pops of every obscure character. So anytime you knew someone liked X thing, you just got them a pop of that because you didn't know anything else about the thing. So that's how I feel about pops. So my, my, my control was really tested by the fact that they made this. And you know I love Orange Bird. <laughs> it's a pin. It is an enamel pin. The packaging is actually kind of gross. Oh, interesting. He's like felt. Interesting. Anyway, it's an enamel pin. I'm not a fan of the pop style, but I am a big fan of Orange Bird. And I'm a sucker, so I bought it. Uh, I also got this Loungefly Jumbo Tangled Pin. It was from the Tangled Tin Year Anniversary. Um, I bought some stuff from the 10th anniversary was going on in 2020. Uh, this is one of the things I did not purchase that I kind of regretted, so I went ahead and picked that up when I saw it. But it's pretty cute. So I think it's a pretty nice pin. Happy with that. So it's a big pin. It's a hefty, hefty pin. Uh, the next thing I got is the latest cuckoo clock. Well, latest upon me filming this, um, and it's Peter Pan Flight. So that is the latest in the cuckoo series that's releasing every month in 2021. So I've been pretty happy doing some more trading instead of just buying because I feel like you get a you get a lot of more of a variety of pins sometimes. So I'm pretty excited about that. I also just have too many traders, so I need to get rid of some of them. <laughs> so that has helped with that as well. So as a recap, I was able to get this pride set, a stained glass goofy holiday pin, two more small goofy pins, this beautiful 
Epcot figment pin with Spaceship Earth behind him. Magic in the Stars Alice. Um, the annual pass holder 30th anniversary Mickey and Minnie pin. Loungefly 10th anniversary Tangled Jumbo. The Peter Pan Flight Cuckoo Clock. And the Orange Bird Pop pin. Wait, I don't mean to be negative. If you're into collecting pops, I can't judge you. I collect enamel Disney pins. I just am not a fan of the styling. Personal opinion. I respect you. That's all I have for you guys today. I keep this brief. I hope it worked. I'm not really sure. The time doesn't look good, but thank you guys for watching. And if you're here just for my dogs, there's more of them coming as well. So there's that. Thank you guys. I will see you soon. Bye.